Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mill for Tuesday, the 27th of October. Following uh, Robert Murray McShane's readings, we've now moved out of Daniel and moved into the book of Hosea, another prophet of God. Um, and we're told in chapter 1, the word of the Lord that came to Hosea, son of Beeri, during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. And so it's positioned quite clearly historically. Uh, his family's positioned. Uh, we don't know exactly what he did, but he has this man living during the reign of Uzziah. And we know that that is the same time that Isaiah was prophesying, because there's a passage in Isaiah chapter 6 where he says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Um, and so they working together. And Hosea is called to come and speak to the people of Israel about their unfaithfulness, that they've turned away from God. And it's one of those odd passages. Verse 2, when the Lord began to speak through Hosea, the Lord said to him, Go, marry a, pros a promiscuous woman, and have children with her. For like an adulterous wife, this land is guilty of unfaithfulness to the Lord. So he married Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son. And as you keep reading, you find that she then eventually runs away from him and goes off to someone else. And I stopped and I thought, what do we do when God is weird? I mean, saying to somebody, go and marry a promiscuous woman, go and marry a prostitute. Um, it's certainly not something I would take very lightly at all and something I'm glad he's never said to me. And I'm not aware of anyone else he said this to. And as I was reflecting on that, I, I think we, we tend to, because we think logically and consistently and we can follow logic through, we expect God to work in the same way. Well, he's given us logic, he's a foundation of logic, therefore that's how it ought to be, that it ought to fit together and be logical. Sometimes God does things which appear illogical, which you can look at, and from no matter which perspective you look at it, it doesn't make sense. And that's because God isn't uh, restricted by logic. And sometimes he will do things which don't make sense, but which do fit into his plan. And I believe that um, it will all make perfect sense at some point, even though at the time we might not get it. And so we read through Hosea and we can see what God is doing. And it might still seem a little odd to us. Um, and it might make us feel a little uncomfortable. But God sometimes does that. And so may you know in the confusing instances of life, those confusing uh, situations, that God can still be there, and God can still be using those situations, and God can still be working his purposes out, despite the fact that our logic breaks down and we don't get it. Hang on to that and be blessed.